brothers and sisters, God bless you indeed. Um, today is a part two, more or less, um, of yesterday's video. Um, the Lord has put a few things on my heart. I was just praying and asking the Lord what, if or what he want me to say today. And um, here is what it is. Remember the prophetic act we got yesterday to make room that the Lord is going to pour us out blessings so great we won't be able to receive it. Um, the Lord says this, this is a season right now. Um, the windows of heaven are open for deliverance. And we all need deliverance at some point in time. Our soul needs the um, healing. And the Lord said that um, what we are doing, this is also prophetic act to where we are taking out the old stuff and we are making room for the blessing that is coming also to our souls in this season. So we need to get rid of these things. We need to be free from these things that hinders us and limits us because he's taking us to the full extent into the call that he's placed upon our lives. So for us to, to, to reach that extent, there's some things that needs to come off. There's some things that need that we need to be free from. There's some things that he wants to remove from us to advance us to another level in the spirit realm, in the kingdom of God and also here on earth. So this is preparation, you know, as making room for what he's bringing in to our lives and to what he's he, he's doing um, in terms of advancing us in the kingdom of God all for his glory honor and praise um, hallelujah I have communion here again if we read 1st Corinthians chapter 11 verses 25 to 26. You got that? That's 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 25 to 26. Now, Jesus shed his blood for each and every one of us. And um, for those who have accepted Jesus and made him the Lord and Savior of your lives, regardless of denomination, you know, taking communion should be a daily thing. Sometimes I take it twice a day. Sometimes I take it three times a day. And I will show you scriptural. Religion has kind of put it to once, once a month, or at this occasion, or yes. I guess that's the time when you take communion amongst with other brethren and sistering as part of partaking of the Lord's Supper as disciples together. But here is what 1 Corinthians eleven twenty five to 26 says. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is a new testament in my blood. D this do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Sorry, sorry, I read it really slow. It says, I'll read it again. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had supped, saying this cup is the new testament in my blood this do ye off ten in remembrance of me did he say do it once a month did he say do it every time there's a gathering did he say do it once a year he said do this off ten and verses 26 says 
For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do shew the Lord's death till he come. You hear what, has, what that's saying? That we, we as, as often as we take communion, we are partaking in the Lord's death until he comes. So people can believe the doctor and take medicine 10 times a day. Why can't you take communion 10 times a day and believe God for your healing? Why can't you take communion five times a day and declare, Jesus, you shed your blood that I will have no debt and believe God for supernatural debt cancellation? Why can't you take communion 10 times a day and say, God, I am going for an interview. This is your shed blood that removes all limitations from me. I am free. I am no longer under bondage. I am not a sinner. I am saved by the grace of God. I am a child of God. I am a king under the most high God. This job belongs to me. The violent take it by force and I take it by force. Father, you say whatever I put my hands to will prosper. Yes, I take it, Lord. Prosper my hands now. Why can't we take communion and believe God for these things also? So yes, that is the scriptural foundation for taking communion a few times a day or every day. I'll tell you something I've noticed. When you do that every day, you move to another realm that is like you're walking and you feel power oozing out of your body. All to the glory of Jesus. Why? You know, that's not me. But you feel power. Woof, 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 woof. Woof. And um, I, like I was saying to someone, I noticed something lately that um, when I pray, even simple prayers, I feel something like a pump, pumping out power. Something just poof, 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 just gushing out like sun rays. I mean, like power. And you find when you, when you live your life and like that, and you and you surrender your life to the Lord every day, a daily prayer of surrender and consecration, and you're taking communion every day, and you walk, oh, wow, 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 wow. I have seen it. All oh, glory be to Jesus. I take no glory. But I've seen these things. These are the things the Lord have taught me, these principles. Unto him be the glory. And I have followed these, and I and I have experienced a close walk with the Lord like never before. I have experienced walking with on another level with the Lord like never before. You know, in the things of God like never before. It's um yes, these are these are solid principles and end time principles that every person shall make a part of your daily, your daily life. You know, if you know you're going to work at seven in the morning, try to get up at five. And spend, you know, you don't want to take communion quick, Lord, I'm going to, I mean, you know, just spend a little time in the presence of the Lord and, you know, absorb his goodness before you go to work, you know. Go to work full of power, full of power, that when you walk in the work door, people just fall down flat on their faces, boop, 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 because the presence of the Lord is with you. Glory to God and hallelujah. Right, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you, Father God, we lift we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Father, we bring Jerusalem before you now. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that Jerusalem, Lord God Almighty, is hedge protected and shield. We pray for the peace and the salvation of Jerusalem. Together here, Lord, we come collectively and together. Together, sorry, Father God, praying with one prayer, one song, one trumpet, one unity, one love, and one march of peace. Praying for the peace of Jerusalem, Lord, and the salvation and the safekeeping of Jerusalem. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift the globe before you and the leaders of this world. And we pray, Father, for breakthrough into these countries. We pray, Lord, where your children are bound up, you will set the captives free. And you will set also, Father God Almighty, that those who don't know you free, Lord God Almighty, and give them a revelation of your love, that they may also turn to you and receive total and complete freedom in thee. Christ Jesus for God is not bound up in thee there's no imprisonment in thee you are God of freedom and liberty so father we thank you for your goodness and your mercies and we bless every country on earth and we pray father God for that souls will be saved we pray that you will send laborers out into the field because the harvest is ripe father we pray you will protect the laborers that are out in these countries now the Muslim nations and other nations antichrist nations Lord where they don't recognize you we pray for the total head and shield of protection your angelic forces will embrace them and surround them father keep them safe let them 
more continue their God-given assignments. Father, let them come back home to their families in one piece and be a living testimony to the things, to the way they have seen you done. The things they have seen you do, Lord God Almighty, in changing lives and touching the lives of those in, in other countries and in poor nations and, and nations that were that are demonically oppressed and suppressed. Lord, bring them home safe to their families. Let them come with, with a living testimony of what they have seen you do, O God Almighty that the world may come to repentance. So, Father, we bless you, we praise you, and we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for every nation, every nation. The Lord bless thee, 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 the Lord bless thee. So, Father, we give you all the glory and the praise, Father. We thank you for everything. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for love. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you. You shed your precious blood at the cross. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for who you are in our lives. We thank you, Jesus for another day. We thank you, Lord, for the weather. We thank you because the weather has its purpose. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness and your mercies. We thank you, Lord God, that we are the sons of God. We thank you, Father, that our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. We ourselves and our bloodlines father we thank you for what you're doing in our lives we thank you for where we was and where you're taking us to father we thank you that we have the the, the fruit of the spirit love joy peace goodness kindness patience and all the others. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that we are called, that we are chosen. Father, we thank you that we are your mouthpieces. Father, we thank you that we have turned up for duty, Lord God Almighty. Father, and like in the days of Gideon, Lord God Almighty, when you broke down the army, you have chosen, Father God, us to go forward in battle, Father, and that as we go forward, Father, others too will join us along this way and there will be a great triumphant sound and a march as we walk in love unity father god and peace just welcoming and and in the weight of our beautiful lord and savior jesus christ as he's about to return so father fill our hearts this day with your love and your joy and your peace and your goodness father let this joy that was spoke about earlier today by by our sister father let this joy rise up in us father god let this joy be apparent in our life every day holy father god almighty and may we continuously walk in the goodness and the fruit of the Spirit. May we walk in the identity in Christ Jesus. Father, teach us and show us our full identity in who we are in you, O oh God Almighty, in who we are in you, in Jesus' name. So, Father, we bless you, we praise you, we honor you, and we thank you. We lift up your name. Father, we praise your holy name. God, you are worthy and holy. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we love you, we praise you, and we honor you. We give you the glory and the praise. Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for cleansing our hearts, cleansing our home from all demonic influences. Father, keep our homes purged from all demonic influences and the works of darkness and the works of the enemy. Keep us cleansed and sanctified by your precious blood. Yes, Lord, you are the great I am. You are the faithful God who keepeth covenant to a thousand generations. So, Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercies and your grace. As you minister part two of this deliverance, Lord, I have opened my mouth, fill my mouth with words. Fill my mouth with words. Fill my mouth with words, Lord. Here I am, Father. Speak to me, Holy Spirit, for your servant listeneth. Thank you, Jesus. Rushikarabaseke. There's a strong anointing here already. It's a healing anointing. And you know when it's a healing anointing because you feel warmth. You feel warmth in your hands, like your hands become on fire. That's the Lord bringing healing. For those of you who don't know, often don't recognize a healing anointing. If you go to one of these worship um, seminars where healing and deliverance is um, being administered, you notice often there's a heat. There's a heat and a warmth, and um, normally a healing anointing. 
So yes, Father, we give you the glory, the praise, and the honor. Right. I, today, we are breaking generational curses. Generational curses are curses. I'll read some scriptures. There are many. I'll just give you a few that you can have as, you know, some kind of foundation to go on. Generational curses. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll read the scriptures first and then we'll come back to this today. I'll give you the foundation before we start to build the house. So, um, right, Exodus chapter 20 and verses 5. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Notice the fathers. You see, our forefathers before worship idols and they've done all kinds of things against the Lord. And what happened, we've been caught up in a generational curse. Yes, Jesus came, we're no longer under the curse, but, you know, we're no longer under the law. We're saved by grace, yes. But there's still generational curses that affect us. And as you study the scriptures from the third and fourth generation, you know, these things have been passed on. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28, there's some there also. I'll take Numbers chapter 14 and verses 18. Thank you, Jesus. Roboboboste kambas da lalabas. Woo, she feel la fire. Roshi karabase boboboste kambas de lelebastai. She korobose. Numbers chapter 14, verses 18. The Lord is long suffering and of great mercy, loving. Sorry, the Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression and by no means clearing the, the, guilt, the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations. You hear that? I'll take it again. The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression and by no means clearing the guilty. You hear that? And by no means clearing the guilty. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations. You see, our fathers, our forefathers have committed um, some wicked acts in the past that has caused generational soul ties and generational demonic harassment of the enemy to be present and apparent in our lives today. And I will explain a bit more into it that you can um, see what I'm talking about. If you see here in the background, just to change topic for a bit, this is a boxing, a little kid's boxing bike. And I bought it for my son and I drew on it Goliath face, the face of Goliath. And I'm teaching him early how to slay his giants. How to, how to. How to destroy the giants that come against him in his life. Not in boxing, but it's also prophetic, you know, teaching him how to slay the giants. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 5 and 9. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me. This and that verse is alike, okay. Now, you see something here what the Lord said he's going to do or has done. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers of those of the third and fourth generation. What generational curses do for some of us can... This will relate to you very strong, perhaps. Um, 
but you never really understood what it was. For example, um, if you get some people, for example, the grandfather went to prison, the father went to prison, the father's kids went to prison, the father's kids' kids went to prison, and literally a whole family line that's went to prison is because of a generational curse that has passed through the entire bloodline. Likewise with sickness. Oh, my! some people say the grandparents had heart attacks, heart problems. The grandparents' children had heart attacks and heart problems. The, the grandparents' children, children had heart attacks and problems. And now the present generation suffers with heart attacks and problems. It's, that's another generational um, curse that's been passed through the bloodline. And the Lord wants us to be set free from all of these things. Another thing too, some people suffer with anger. You know, the, the, the forefathers were very angry. You know, grandparents and stuff were very angry. And their parents were angry. When they were angry. And they constantly, and this is something that's passed through the generation. Um, through the different generations. And all of us at some point in time, I've done this prayer many times before, but I mean, all of us at some point in time, you will realize a character, we will realize kind of a character in us that could re that can easily be identified to a generational curse because it's apparent. Even worry, worry, you know, some people worry and then they'll find that their forefathers used to worry, you know, their grandparents used to worry, their grandparents' parents' parents used to worry, they, 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 now their present family worry, now they worry, just as they've done before. It's all generational um, curses. And this thing goes on and on, even to cars. Um, the Lord showed me a while back, some people, um, because I had quite a few cars back to and the Lord gave me a revelation that um, even in vehicles, like we obviously years back then, they weren't vehicles, you know, obviously they were donkeys and stuff. But there are even some things that pass on like a, a generational curse came up the line and took a slight little do detour. For example, years back, the Lord would tell me maybe, you know, people's homes and stuff were getting attacked. And that same spirit now come to attack people's, you know, like physical, material things. And so, yes, it, it's, it's a very big area, um, the generational curse area. But it is something that, um, that holds back and can limit the body of Christ if they don't have the understanding in this thing. Yes. We give our life to Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb, we are no longer sinners. We are saved under grace. But people wonder, why is it then that they still suffer with illnesses? Why is it then that this, 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 it becomes like a family um, contagious blood thing, diabetes and this? Why is it then this is happening? Because there's, yes, we receive you know what I mean? What the Lord done for us and everything at the cross. Yes, that is a full package. He paid for it all. And this is why he paid for it too, is that we can become delivered. This is part, part of the package. He paid for it too, that we can become free from the generational curses. That we can become free too from the past. The old have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All things are of God. Yes, history still remains the same. The old has passed away, but you can go and dig up history if you understand what I'm saying. So there's some things that the Lord, all of this is part of what he paid for. He paid the full price that now, you know, through his servants, you know, all to his glory. To you be all glory on and praise, Lord. That people, that his children can be set free from generational curses and from these things that happened in the past. Yes, he paid the full price. So it is correct. Many people think that I'm, um, oh, Often when they, you know, receive the Lord, so, oh, psh, 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 psh. you know, everything flies out like that. No, you see, he paid the price that we will be set free from these things. It's already done. You know, so, um, we, Jesus, Lord Jesus, we give you the glory. We give you the honor and we give you the praise. We thank you, Lord God, for who you are in our lives, for who you are, for who you are, for who you are. So if you want to repeat after me, we are going to break generational curses 
And as the Holy Spirit put anything on my heart, I will just mention it and uh, I'll try my best to say it as slow and give you enough time to be able to say it also. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I'll tell you when I'll start, sorry. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray as we go through this breaking the generational curse, Father God, that you've put on my heart to share with our brothers and sisters. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, that your presence will be there. Holy Spirit, let your fire fall. Holy Spirit, let your dunamis healing power right now pass through the screen. Lord, be, on, be in each and every person's home present right now, Father, bringing healing and deliverance from generational curses. So, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus right now that who the Son sets free is free indeed. And you pay the price, Jesus, that your children, as part of all the full package, will be set free. So, Father, we bless you, we thank you, we love you. And Holy Spirit, let your firefall intensify your anointing, Lord. We love your presence. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. And we thank you, O Shikara Basai. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you're our ever-present God, omnipresent, omnipotent, who is like unto thee, great and mighty is the Lord, our God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Give each and every one of them a revelation of your presence, your tangible presence, your healing, your healing presence, Lord. Give each and every person, their families and their bloodlines, a revelation of this in Jesus' name. Right. So um, I will repeat the prayer right now. And um, thank you so very much for, us, for all of us for the better. As we advance in the things of God, um, we will not be going to war as wounded soldiers. As the Lord said the other day, you know, can a wounded soldier fight? But God, this is part of the process he's talking about. He's healing us, as he said. He's making us whole and fit for fight and fit for battle and also fit to receive all that he has for us. Because sometimes the Lord has so, so much for us, but we can't receive it because we are not fit to receive it. In other words, there's still many issues that's going on that we need to be set free from. But hey, God is faithful. And he who started a thing will see it through to the end. We are the heads and not the tails. We are blessed and not cursed. We are increasing and multiplying and not decreasing. We are called. We are chosen. Hallelujah. In the highest hallelujah so here is the prayer now Abba Father in the name of Jesus in your word in Exodus 20 verses 5 numbers 14 and 18 Deuteronomy 5 and 9 we have clearly seen father that the sins of our forefathers and their fathers all the way through to the third and the fourth generation our generation has affected us, our family, and our bloodlines. Abba Father, we come boldly before your throne of mercy and grace today to renounce and to repent for the sins of our fathers. Father, we are sorry that our fathers have committed these sins. We renounce them. We break the power of the sins they have committed and we declare 
that through the blood of Jesus that was shed at the cross we are now totally 100% set free from all generational curses, patterns, cycles, sicknesses, plagues, infirmities, and every and all other things that has affected our lives as a result of generational curses. Father, we thank you that these curses are broken and they no longer exist nor can they no longer exist. Father, we thank you that we are free and our entire bloodlines have been set free from all generational curses, not some, but all generational curses. Father, we thank you where diseases was apparent in our lives as a result of generational curses. Those diseases are totally gone. We thank you, Father. We, Father, we thank you where there was poverty in our lives as a result of a generational curse. Poverty is gone. And we declare we are blessed coming in and blessed going out. Blessed where we are. Blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Father, where generational curses have caused any of our family members to be imprisoned continuously, year, bloodline, family, and generation after each other. We thank you now, Father. That cycle is now broken, cancel, and any family members in prison, regardless of what they have done, they are now released and set free from prison between now and six months, as you're speaking in my spirit, Father, between now and six months, any and all family members in prison, regardless to what they have done, are released. Father, in the name of Jesus, Every negativity, every bad thing, every attack, spiritually, physically, emotionally, every wrong thing, every bad thing, every negative thing, every negative 
attitude, character, and everything that's, that has been in our lives not in a line with your word and who you say we are. We thank you, Father, that they are broken, they are canceled, we are free from them because all generational curses are broken, canceled, made null and void, and we are free from every single thing that came as a result of a generational curse. In Jesus' name, Father, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We rejoice, Father, that we are no longer in any bondage in Egypt or the enemy because who the Son sets free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Okay, praise the Lord for that. That's it. Guys, give the Lord a big round of applause. Praise Him for who He is. Praise him, praise him, because our DNA, spiritual DNA, Roshi Karabase, is in alignment now, a hundred percent, with how God created us to be, even before the foundations of planet Earth. So guys, we ought to give the Lord a high praise. Let's just take a minute and praise him. Jesus, we praise you. God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord that we're set free. We thank you, Lord, that where we went off course, you have brought us back on course. Oh, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, God, that when you start a thing, you will see it through to the end. We thank you, Lord God, that you are God who keep covenants unto a thousand generations. And we thank you, you never break your covenant, nor will you alter the thing that is gone out of your lips. Father, we praise you for your worthy to be glorified and magnified. We thank you that we are set free. Oh, Father, put a sung in our hearts that we may dance like David danced till our clothes fall off giving you all the glory the honor and the praise hallelujah 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 and amen in the name of Jesus every demonic spirit that has been attached to a generational curse every demonic spirit that has followed us all the way up the blood channels through generation to generation to generation. I bind you. I bind the strong man first, binding you in the name of Jesus. I render you right now powerless and ineffective. I decree and I declare now your diabolical assignment against us is canceled now. You have no power. You have no legal right to function in our lives, in our families' lives, in our bloodlines, our loved ones' lives. You have no legal right nor power to continue your assignment or to continue your work. And in the name of Jesus, I command you right now, I break and sever your communication contact off of each other. I decree and declare that you cannot communicate with each other. And in the name of Jesus, I command you, be gone and return no more forevermore. Father, I pray you will cast each and every one of them into outer darkness, that they be banished from the face of the earth and from the face of coming against us in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, hallelujah. Re baba ba se koro bo 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 se. She kara ba sa bo 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 se kam ba se li le basta. Ro bo 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 se kam ba se li le basta. Ro bo bo se kara ba sa bo 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 se. Some of you don't speak in spiritual language, tongues. There are times the Lord will give me an interpretation of tongues. And for those who speak in tongues, the spiritual language. The Lord does it for you too. 
like you speak in a language and after you just know that you know that you know the the the, the interpretation is like you you're spoken and it, it, it's just there like it's a voice speaking what the interpretation is inside hallelujah the interpretation of tongues now guys could you please if you want please join today in communion we will try we will do this as often together in prayer agreement where two or more agree as touching anything it shall be done Woo, guys this is powerful so lord jesus as we come to take communion now father we, we commit we cast all of our cares upon you because you care for us Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare now, as I'm feeling in the spirit, any bills that was coming to any of us, any bad news that was coming to any of us, Father, we declare it is cancelled right now. And we command every mountain of opposition to get out of the way. Mountains of opposition be removed and cast into the sea. Mountains come down, valleys come up, let us straightway be prepared for the Lord. So, Father, we thank you. Robo Robo si karama se heya, re ba 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 se yo, ro ma 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 se ke, ya re ba ba ma se ya. Oh God is faithful. We tell Him to put a new song in our heart. Hallelujah to Jesus in the highest. So guys, remember, um, I said this is that. I use communion with this thing um, in the UK. What you call squash you. Use like this concentrate juice mix and mix it with water and I take a cracker and the Lord receives it from the heart which saved me having to take a plane and go to the mountains and get the fresh freshest grapes and the purest of um, bread so we thank you whatever you have at home I said even if it's apple juice whatever do it in faith do it in faith it might not be read but god honors the act of faith because it's impossible to please god without faith we are moving into a higher level in christ jesus we are walking in faith and we're stepping out in faith and doing things in faith because it pleases god when we move in faith so just take piece of bread don't look at the color what piece of bread, something, and, and join partaking communion if your heart so desires, because this is not compulsory. And, um, you know, as we partake of the Lord's Supper, you know, we, we do this and we partake of his death until he comes. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that as we take communion this day, as we partake in the Lord's Supper, we thank you, Jesus, as you declared it is finished. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing that's flowing now. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have chosen us to do things that many may have shied away from. Father, we thank you that we are part of your end time plan. We give you the glory and the praise and as we take communion, Jesus, we thank you that you shed your precious blood at the cross. Not one drop was lost so that we are now sons of God. We honor you, Father, and we thank you for what you have done. We appreciate it and we love you and we praise you. And all of our hearts shall we do this as a memorial and as a testimony that our Savior is risen. Jesus is his name. So Matthew 26 and 26, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed, blessed it and bricked it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. And he blessed the cup, Father, blessed this cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it for this is my blood of the New Testament, which was shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of the fruit of the vine until I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Lord, we eat of your flesh and drink of your blood. And we thank you as we partake in communion, Father. We thank you for healing our souls, not in part, but in whole. We thank you that our souls are totally healed. 
and we are free from every snare of Egypt and the firstborn of Egypt in our life is smitten in Jesus' name. Yes, everything that the enemy brought against us is trodden down on the feet and we moved and every mountain of opposition is dispersed and cast into the sea. We give you the glory and the praise as we rejoice in partaking in the Lord's Supper. Easy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. feel the Lord want to release another anointing just relax your body relax it and let the Holy Spirit do his job father in the name of Jesus I pray father release your anointing right now Holy Spirit let it flow let your fire flow let your fire fall now 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 father we declare fire 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 fresh oil fresh oil Fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, more anointing, more anointing, more anointing. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father God. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Lord, Oshikarama, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. So, brothers and sisters, um, just receive it. Just receive it, guys. Just bath in it. Just bath in the anointing. Just bath in the presence. Just bath in it. Bath in it. Bath in it. Enjoy His presence. Enjoy the heat that you're feeling over your bodies. Enjoy it. And just say, more, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. So, Father... We thank you, God, for your faithfulness. And we thank you, Jesus, that as we remember the Passover all the way down through to Easter, we thank you, Jesus, again so much, Lord, that our, our physical language cannot describe at times how much we are grateful. But we thank you, Lord, we thank you so much for what you have done. And our hearts are so grateful, Abba Father. We really appreciate you, Lord. And we honor you. And we thank you again, 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 Lord God, for your goodness, your mercies, and your grace, and your love, your compassion, your goodness. Because, Father, we are living testimonies who can declare that we have tasted that the Lord is good. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee. Woo! And establish thee in his shalom. Receive another portion now in Jesus' name. Now in Jesus' name. God bless you. Peace.